One of the things people have been talking a lot about is sort of this idea of pre-positioning partnerships to have uh, the partnerships in place so you're not scrambling in the immediate aftermath of, of something to try to figure out who are the right players. Uh, what, what are the ways that you think that can be done? What are the ways that you're sort of thinking about how do you build and develop partnerships over over time? So when there is sort of a crisis that needs responding to, you can be engaged. I think that's an absolutely key issue. And if you look at what we do with our partners in the humanitarian space and the emergencies and disaster preparedness space, we focus on three things. One, exactly what you said, we have partnerships in place. So when the crisis is happening, when the disaster is happening, we just push the button because we know what to do. We know how we're going to do it. We know who's going to work on it. We know exactly what we need to do. So without that, you can't be effective in, in responding to disaster. Secondly, we invest a lot in building uh, capacity because if we can empower local organizations in the in the areas where disasters are prone to happen. We will have a better response, a quicker response, a more culturally sensitive response. So uh, empowering local organizations as, as an alternative to, to parachuting in international NGOs is, is an important focus for us. The third focus in humanitarian aid for us is really how we engage the people themselves in developing the most appropriate programs. So, like in the private sector, you do uh, customer surveys, you have interaction with your customers in finding out what is it that the customer would like to see from you. Now, that doesn't happen as much in the humanitarian field. And we think it's actually essential to involve young people, to involve uh, what we call the clients or the beneficiaries in, in designing the response mechanism in the way that it works best for them. So you talk about building these partnerships or relationships with local organizations. How have you gone about doing that? Because I think this is, you know, this issue of involving local actors is obviously one of the key issues on the agenda here. And, and I think the challenge is that you can talk about how important it is to do it. But the question is, when it comes down to it, how do you actually go about building those relationships? What does that look like for you? We are a very small organization, so we have to be very efficient in how we operate. So we don't have the capacity to go into many of these different countries, identify small organizations and, and, and fund them directly. So we work specifically with uh, international NGOs who have specialized in finding the right organizations on the ground, uh, training them, and then leaving it to them to be the organization that responds in terms of crisis. So we have uh, partners like Oxfam and, and Save the Children, for example, who are organizations that specifically uh, decided that this is what they want to do because they see that that's a more efficient way of, of, of providing uh, disaster response and, and disaster preparedness. So obviously our audience at DevX are probably people who are you know, interested in working with the IKEA Foundation. So what are, you looking, what are you looking for? What's your criteria when you're looking for partners? We look for the most effective solution and the most efficient solutions. Coming from IKEA, we focus on lowering the cost and on driving innovation and, and constant improvement. And when we can see that, we build long-term relationships and partnerships to those who we think can provide the most effective and efficient uh, emergency response in every given situation. That means that the majority of the funds that we provide will go to the local organizations in that specific country as opposed to um, let me call it bureaucracy and, and overhead cost with the big international organizations. And some organizations have really understood this and they see the opportunity to be a conduit between us and the local organizations in the countries where we know disasters are prone to happen.